Welcome to Serif Page Plus X4. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate the powerful PhotoLab, a dedicated environment included in Page Plus that makes it quick and easy to fix and adjust your photos and apply special photo effects. In this tutorial, we'll look at applying special effects. Fixing and adjusting photos is covered in a separate tutorial. To open PhotoLab, select any photo on your page and then on the Picture Context toolbar, Click Photo Lab. The filter stack on the right contains some of the more commonly used adjustment filters. These filters are not enabled. You can see that these boxes are not selected. But for the purpose of this tutorial, let's remove them completely from the filter stack. At the left of the dialog, the Effects tab provides a selection of categorized effect filters. To apply an effect, simply click it to add it to the trial zone displayed beneath the filter stack. The trial zone lets you adjust and preview an effect filter before applying it. The buttons at the top of the dialog let you switch to split screen mode so you can see before and after versions of your image. You can also use these buttons to zoom in and out. To reset filter values, click the reset button. To replace a filter in the trial zone, just click a different effect. If you like the results, click Commit to add the filter to the filter stack. Once in the filter stack, you can click this box to disable and enable the filter as required. At the bottom of the PhotoLab window, the Images tab displays all of the pictures in your publication. This lets you work on multiple images and then apply the filters all together when you exit PhotoLab. Let's work on this photo next. Again, I'll remove the filters that are added to the stack by default so that you can follow the next steps more easily. Over on the Favourites tab, you'll find a selection of presets. Some of these, such as sepia, are created from a single filter. Others use a combination of filters. For example, if I click the Red Devil effect, you'll see that this adds lens vignette, colour balance and film grain filters. You can adjust the values of these filters individually if you want to. Let's now combine this effect with the Paint and Ink effect from the Effects tab. If you apply a combination of filters like this, or set particular filter values, you can save your filter profile for future use and apply it to other images. To do this, click the Save Filter button and name your filter group. Over on the Favourites tab, you can see that my new filter profile has been added. If I now select a different photo, I can apply these same filters all at once. You can also apply filters to selected areas of a photo using a mask. For example, in this photo, let's apply a black and white filter to the sky, but keep the foreground in colour. First, I apply the black and white filter. Now I choose New Mask from the Mask drop-down list. By default, I'm in Select mode and I don't need to change this and now I just select the areas to which I want to apply the black and white filter. If you want to edit an existing mask, for example, let's change this mask so that the black and white filter is applied to the foreground rather than to the sky. I click Edit Mask and then change from Select to Protect mode. You can create multiple masks and switch between them to see which effect you prefer. Earlier I created this mask in which I protected the flowers from the black and white filter. Once you've created a mask, you can use it on any filter you apply to your image. If you decide you don't want to apply a mask, just choose None from the drop-down list.
I finished applying my effects, so now I can click OK to exit Photolab and there are my photos with effects applied. Don't forget that you can also use Photolab to fix your photos and apply adjustments such as lighting, colour balance, curves and more. See the fixing your photos in Photolab video tutorial for details.